Wednesday, 8.33 in the morning. Gonna be a nice day. That is not a U-Haul truck. No U-Haul truck. Delay of game. You know, if something ever went right in my life, I'd be shocked. <laughs> well, good morning. Good morning. You're not gonna say good morning? That's close. What? You alright today? Huh? Are you alright today? You wanna come up here? Come here. Hi, girl. Good morning. Good morning to you. What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? What? I'll bring you your cookie in a little bit. Get your nose out of the camera. Huh? You got eye boogers, everything. Oy, oy. Come here. Yeah, I took your eye booger. You want it back? You're not getting it? So, <clears throat> I should be on the road to Ohio, but that didn't happen. Um, I was supposed to pick the van up yesterday at 12.30. At 11 o'clock, my helper calls me and says, Oh, throw it up. And da -da 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 -da. So I was like, whatever. So, I had to cancel the reservation for yesterday. Sent Chris the board sort of message telling him I will not be down there today. So we're going to try and go get the truck today and leave tomorrow. So we'll see what happens. I don't know. He's on this uh, Wagobi thing to lose weight. So he's on like his third dose of it. So every dose is a little higher. So I guess it's messing with him. I don't know. The fat bastard ain't losing no weight. So I don't know. It's Claims he lost 12 pounds. I don't see it. <laughs> His muffin, muffin top is getting bigger. So I checked with him last night. I called him and he said, Yeah, he said, you know, I'll be alright. <clears throat> but um, I guess it, this dose is making him like nauseated and all that fun stuff. So I said, Well, <clears throat> I said, You better take some barf bags with you. So, you know, it's kind of iffy if he'll, he'll even be able to handle going down there, you know, driving. I don't know. We'll find out, I guess. Uh, and my guy that has all the electronics <coughs> that uh, I've been talking about, we tried to get a hold of him yesterday with no response. Um, and the electronics I got last week or the week before um, those two guys are friends so um, my buddy called that guy and he got a hold of the family or whatever and uh, found out that the guy is in a hospital with some respiratory issues for like a week so this is going to get pushed back um, I'm going to give it till next week Probably the end of next week, and if nothing transpires, then I'm going to send the money back to the person that was nice enough to loan it to me. And if down the line, uh, you know, the guy is ready, if he don't croak, um, then, you know, hopefully my uh, buddy will loan it back to me. Um... And I guess the thing is, his son, this guy's son, has been wanting to clean the property for years. And actually told his dad that he was going to get some dumpsters in there and start cleaning it up. And his dad lost his mind, so his son uh, quit doing it. Or, you know, dropped that idea. So, um, he just wanted to get rid of this stuff pretty much, like, dirt cheap. So, if, you know, God forbid this man passes away... Or whatever and he's like 65 or 70 he's a you know he's up there um i might be able to get it cheaper who knows who knows so it's not a dead deal it's just you know he's having problems and it's all good but like i said um the person that loaned me the money i'm not <coughs> going to uh spend that money that's for damn sure uh but like i said if he uh if it's another week, week and a half, um, 
because my deal on this and this this loan was I had to pay it back in 30 days. So, <clears throat> so uh, like I said, week week and a half. Um, if nothing is going on, then I'm just going to uh, send his money back, and we'll wait to see what happens. So that's what I'm gonna do. So yesterday I didn't do much of anything. I just <coughs> kind of putzed around out here. I picked up all that wire that was here, and I stripped a little bit more. I still have this here to do. So this here and this here. This here strips pretty easy. But uh, I'm just gonna keep adding to the barrel. This is what's in that stuff. Is this here? So it's all number two. Uh, today, I think I'm going to screw around with those uh, power modules. Try to get a chunk of these at least broken apart. Oh. Get, you know, I'm bust the ends off of these. These are brass. Um, get these broken off, and then you have to heat these up to get the uh, little board off the back of them, which ain't nothing. And these top legs are uh, copper as well. And just get these done. Just hit them with a brick hammer and you're good to go. <coughs> so that's probably just all I'm going to put around with until the van. He's supposed to pick the van up at noon today, so we'll see. If I get a call at 11 o'clock that he's, uh, back to being sick or whatever. I don't know. And then one of my buddies at the scrapyard, uh, one of the regular scrappers there, he asked me if I wanted this bucket. I said, I do want that bucket. Because what I do with these is, um, when I heat up those power module bases, I put water in this thing and I throw them in there to cool them down. I usually use that one, but that one's starting to get thin on the bottom. Um, or if I'm doing my, uh, you know, when I do the copper ingots, I can fill this with water and throw them in there too. So definitely a good bucket. He's like, I ain't getting nothing for it in shreds, so he just gave it to me. So I'll take it. I will take it. <sighs> Anything else going on? I don't think so. So yeah, I'm just putzing around. I say today I'm just gonna screw around. When the van gets here, it'll probably take me an hour to load that. And uh I might go through some of this stuff. I know I always say that. I'm going to go through this stuff. Never go, th never go through it. Something always comes up. There really that really that much here. It's just a little odd and then crap. That I just really have to sift through. And this bucket here is empty. So. So I got some uh, armored wire I have to go get. Um, from my, ouch, my yard. My shins bother me today for some reason. Um, so I have to go and pick that up. Probably next week now. <clears throat> I'm not going to have time to do nothing. Between today and tomorrow. My breakfast is sitting over here in the garbage can. It's a Pop-Tart. It's a Pop-Tart. It's a Schmores. A Schmores Pop-Tart. You ain't getting no Pop-Tart. Get out of here. I had grilled cheese for lunch yesterday. Dog got most of it. And then last night I had a, uh, what did I have yesterday? Oh, it's called Cajun Chicken. So I gave her some Cajun Chicken. The dog eats better than me. It ain't even my damn dog. Yeah, I want to clean up this mess. Got all this dust and crap in here from the plug ends. I was grinding off. And put all this somewhere. This is just wire and heat sinks. From uh, all the computers I just took apart. External hard drives, so they're easy to do. I'll probably do those and throw those couple hard drive boards in the board sort pile. See what else I can find. So. But other than that, not much else going on. So I'm to give you an update on the board sort run and the e waste thing. And uh, we'll go from there. So with that, appreciate y'all. Stay safe. Keep doing what you're doing. I gotta do something with this mess. And I will talk to you all later.